Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome to Farming Simulator 22. I have finally gotten my grubby little paws on a copy of the game. And I'm not going to do much of a video right now. I'm literally just doing a very quick introduction to show you getting into the game. And to say I'm doing a live stream this evening, which is where I'm really going to start looking at uh, how the game operates and everything else. So all I'm going to do right now is, first of all, thank you very much to Giants. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for letting me have a copy of this game. That is absolutely amazing. And everything in here in the main menu is pretty much standard, so we don't need to worry about that. We're going to go into the career. We're going to open up a brand new slot in here. We're just going to go with a new farmer easy on there. We can have Elm Creek. We can have Hote Baileron. Is it Hote? Ho Baileron? How Baileron? I don't know. If anybody speaks French and knows for certain how I'm supposed to pronounce that, could you please tell me in the comments section? Because otherwise I'm just going to be saying it wrong from now until the end of time. Or, you know, now until FS24 comes out. Uh, or we got Erlingrat. Now, Erlingrat, we're already familiar with. Ho Baileron, or how, how... I think it's Ho Baileron. Um, this is going to bug me now. Anyway, we're doing this one on the live stream tonight, so we want to look at that one. We'll have a quick peek at Elm Creek in here. I must say, I do actually really like the artwork that they've got for the three different maps. I like the I, li I like the way that they've done this. This is actually really cool. Um, so the first thing that we get is character creation. Now, I've had a little look at the character creation, so it's not a complete surprise to me, but uh, we can basically make our person look pretty much how we like. We've got a lot more freedom of how we would like them to look, so I'm going to make him look fairly similar to me, at least to start off with. He's got a very big chin, hasn't he? My chin's not that big, surely. No, can't be. Uh, I'm a bit of a thug. I've got quite short hair. I do love that the default for this is the correct colour hair. Default is orange hair. I like that. At last, us gingers have been recognised. This is much more like it. I mean, yeah, really, I'm I'm more kind of a little bit brighter orange than there, but uh, that, that that kind of it's kind of gingerish. Is it? At, at, at long last, we have finally been given the recognition that we deserve. Thank you very much, Giants. That's really appreciated. And it is, it's about time. It's about time. Ginger should always be the default setting. Now, I'm generally a little bit stubbled. I don't, I don't, I don't have, you know, the, the whole facial hair going on, but I do have a little bit of stubble, so we'll put that one in. And I, th that's about it. Um, but... Now I look like I have an evil plot and I'm going to take over the world. <laughs> what else we got? So let's let's just let's just have a look at these mustaches. Ah, oh, look at that glorious! That's like Kreswold, he of the glorious mustache. Anybody who knows what I'm talking about, tell me in the comment section. I know what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, that is a glorious mustache. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. I don't have a mustache in real life. I'm having a mustache. I'm going with it. Right, and we have a selection of clothing. I've seen this before, so it's not like complete surprise to me. I have just haven't looked very uh, blah blah. I haven't looked through it very much. Um so we've got clothing that is branded in here, so we can go around in our John Deere overalls if we want to. Uh Voucher and so on. And we've got some generic stuff in here. So we go spraying kit, beekeeper's outfit. We can't wear that. We can't see our mustache. Quite why we need a racing driver's kit working on a farm, I don't really know. I do like it though. But it doesn't, we, we can't see the glorious mustache. That looks fairly bad. That, that's, that's a badass outfit, that is. Jodfers and riding gear. Not really my style. Uh... <laughs> Red Dead Redemption! <laughs> We have got Red Dead Redemption right here. <laughs> the mustache fits as well. Right, what you can also do is you can select individual clothing. So we can sort of go with some of the extra bits in here. 
I'm not going to, but I could if I wanted to. See, I, I can change it over so I, I can mix it up a little bit. But I'm sticking with this whole Red Dead Redemption theme. I like this. Same with the trousers. We'll stick with that. I like that. What about our boots? We can change these over. All kinds of different boots going on here. A little bit of clipping there with some of them. That's all right. You're not going to notice that when you're driving around. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption in wellies. Th yes, definitely. We're, we're going to need to get a horse to try this out. Right, uh, we've got a hat. Do we want to change the hat? <laughs> now we're Red Dead Redemption who's about to go fishing. Seriously, that's 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 a, a, a fisherman's hat, that is. Uh, ooh, I like that we've got a selection of chainsaw helmets that we could use here if we wanted to. I'm sticking with the hat that we got. Gloves. We've got the, the, the leather gloves that we, we, we've already got there. Rubber gloves. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption with marigolds. <laughs> And wellies. I love it. This is fantastic. Glasses. Now I look like an accountant. The Red Dead Redemption accountant. Who's ready to do the dishes at a moment's notice. Okay, I actually really like that. I'm torn between the accountant and the guy who's ready to do the dishes as soon as he's finished on the ski slope. But still obsessed with Red Dead Redemption. I've never played that game, by the way. I just know that it's all about cowboys. I think we're going with this one. I love it. It's fantastic. Right. Welcome to Farming Simulator. Would you like to start a short guided tour? No. I'm fairly familiar with the game. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, if you go to Elm Creek, this is your humble abode. Right here. We even have air conditioning. All of the mod cons are provided for you. Uh, let's go and have a look at the map right here. So this is us right in the middle. We own field 44, 45, and 46. We have a tip point right there, which is a farm silo. We have a water tank over there, and we have the farmhouse right there. And we have a selection of tractors that we can also go and visit. We've got a field right here, which is a field of wheat. And then there's some more fields over there. There is a Deutz over there, a combine. We've got a farm pickup. Let's go and have a look. So we've got a farm pickup here. We've got a Massey 3670. Driven one of those a little bit. We have John Deere 7810. And... <laughs> oh, I didn't notice this. I didn't notice. I, I genuinely didn't notice before. Look. This is an old tractor. This, this is a round cab John Deere. Now, this one is a 4755, which is quite a bit more powerful than the tractor that I learned to drive on. I mean, I, I sort of learned to drive on a Massey Ferguson 35, you know, the little old ones. But I also did a lot of my learning in a John Deere 2650, which looks exactly the same as this, just a bit smaller, that's all. Slightly shorter on the bonnet compared to the main tractor because this one's got a bit more engine to stuff in front of it than the 2650 did. Uh, but yeah, same. It's, it's the same. This is the tractor that I learned to drive in. This is fantastic. Gears on the side on there. Um, that's different in the 2650. They're down on the floor in between your legs. Uh, the handbrake is exactly the same. Throttle, brake, clutch, that's all the same. Uh, controls, the other controls on the side, they're the same. Even the PTO shaft, see that yellow lever on the left-hand side of the console there? That's to engage and disengage the PTO shaft. That's exactly the same. Uh, just where the center of the steering wheel is, the symbol, the, you know, the little leaping deer, just to the top left of that one, there's a little kind of lever sticking out the side. That's the indicator. You've got to lift it, you, you flick it up one way for obviously turning right, and you flick it down to turn left. But yeah, that's the indicator, that is. Uh, back here, there we go. That is the lever there that it, you lift the hydraulics all the way up. You pull that lever, and that pulls out the pins manually that then allows the main pickup hitch to drop. <laughs> this is awesome. This is the tractor that I used to drive, pretty much. I mean, yeah, 
This is a bigger version, but it is pretty much the one that I used to drive. I love it. And the tractors change gear as you go along as well. So, like, you go up through the different gears and that as you're going through. So, we're on gear 15. I've got it on automatic at the moment, but you can actually set it so that you are manually changing the gears if you want to. So, you do have that option. You've got manual gear changing, which is fan schmastic. Well, I'm not going to get very much more into this right now. This is just a very quick first look and to tell you that I'm doing the live stream tonight. So we'll look at a lot of the machinery and everything tonight. Uh, there is one more thing that I do know does happen. If you go into the shop, you've got all the usual bits and pieces in the shop. So you, you're familiar with that. Um, but it's the construction in here. This is very different to what we've been used to. This is, this is all new in here. Um, if we go into there and I go and select this one, I don't have the money for this one, right? I don't have the money, but I am still able, I can zoom in like that. Ah, right. I can change the angle of it by pressing and holding the middle mouse button. Like that. I can change things around. And then I can zoom in like this, so then I can see placement on the ground. That's really cool. I love that we can actually pick up and look at these things. If you press and hold the right mouse button and then you swivel it, it, it rotates it nice and quickly. I love that we can actually look at them even though we don't have the money. That is brilliant. And you've got silos in here. Have a look at this a minute. So you've got a... 250,000 litre hayloft, you've got 400,000 for um, a farm silo, you've got another one, half a million, another one, 800,000, 980, 1.1 million, 2 million, 6 million, 16 million litres of storage right there on that silo, which is just phenomenal. We've actually got some big scale storage now for those of you who like to do things on a very big scale. So we've got a supplementary water tank over there. This one is 200,000 extension. That's a 250,000 extension. To be honest, if you're doing 16 million liters here, you'd just put another one of those down. You need a lot of space, but you can do it. So that's those bits there. Uh, that's not what I'm wanting to look at. We want to go to production and it's orchards. This is the only other bit that I want to very, very quickly show you. We'll be trying to do some of this in live stream tonight. I can't place it at the moment because it's August and I have seasons turned on. But you, you basically, you, you put these out like this and you place them down. And then if you want to place another one, you've got to make sure that you've got these rows spaced the correct distance apart so i'm not entirely sure how this works and i'm not sure how these work with the harvester and other machinery that works with it as well so it's gonna be very interesting finding all about that finding out all about that tonight in the live stream that is all i'm gonna do right now we're not gonna do any more we will have the live stream and then i will have a bit of a garage look and look at some of the mechanics and that in another video that I will post tomorrow, so there is a bit of content for those of you who don't want to watch live streams or don't like watching live streams. Um, it'll be maybe we'll have like half an hour and then next week I will be starting on normal videos. So if you've enjoyed this very quick first look, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frisk. <laughs> Bye. Oh, these marigolds are brilliant. Goodbye, and see you later.